Hi guys, Frostfangs here, welcome back once again, of course, to another Paladins video. We're going to be playing some Zin today in the most annoying way possible. It's kind of the angle I'm going to be taking with this video. I'm also going to be trying to show off a skin that I haven't really played very much with, although the skin is definitely going to be a lesser part of the video. I'm going to be focusing more on the loadout and stuff, which I have covered kind of before, but the servers were really, really fine. I wasn't really able to show it off properly, so I'm kind of technically revisiting it. I just really felt like playing some Zin, those two reasons, wanting to show off the setup and also the skin, but also I've been going up against a lot of Zin recently and me getting kind of annoyed at it you've probably been able to tell in the videos because i usually get a little bit salty when it happens in the matches basically zin is just kind of annoying in paladins and not necessarily in a bad way i don't have anything really against zin it's just his kit inherently has a ton of stuff that counters and stops you from dealing any sort of damage to him and with the setup we're going to be running with today it kind of accentuates those two sides of his kit with the counter reset the billow reset health increase movement speed increase and also a little bit of ammo i have two other setups from here but we're not going to be playing with those today we're going to be focusing just on this which you could technically call counter zin which i have actually done before but at the same time it's kind of turned into meta zin in a way at least in my matches basically the aim with this video is to try and be as annoying as possible also show off his skin a little bit and just have a fun time messing around with zin genuinely one of the biggest driving factors for this video is i just wanted to play zin so i might make this a bit longer than usual and i might just play him until i don't feel like making a video anymore or playing zin so this might be like a special in a way i'm not sure just yet we'll see but anyway moving on for game one we've got tdm abyss we've got a cassia victor a beaker and a corvus and we're up against an Ando, a grover a ruckus a tiberius and an ash my voice actually might give out on me before i want to stop playing so that's another thing that might cut this video off kind of short we'll see we'll go ahead and grab guillotine and then the counter setup of course we'll start off with some cauterized frame rate seemed to be a little bit weird there but i guess we're fine we've got accelerant impulse cardio spreading influence we've got predator instincts aerial assault deep root scorch and battering ram they have three tanks and a healer i'm now just realizing this i did grab guillotine because i saw two of them didn't realize they had three though i guess we can go ahead and alt the grover or not because for some reason i wasn't able to go up that ledge there is a counter there is the billow thank you Corvus, for the heal there's another counter for him okay cool we'll go ahead and roll through a little bit pull up a counter another time thanks for a bunch of free damage he's out nice we're actually going to win this fight because the team came in i appreciate it we'll grab some chronos Tyrus is just here i'm going to slide in pull up the counter there we go he should be out he's so goddamn low i can't believe i missed up the first ultimate of the video by the way i'm actually kind of disgraced with that play and that happened a little while ago it kind of got to me a little bit let's get rid of the Tiberius if we can spamming the biller but i messed up my timings there i guess we can just go ahead and pop the ultimate get rid of the ruckus even with guillotine i guess he's still up because he's got the shield ash went for the ult so did the grover i'm just going to actually kind of run a little bit to the left away from where the main fights are happening so we can deal with these guys kind of solo ruckus is on nothing counter free should be gone he did obviously get the shield up but he's out there's another counter setup has been working very well so far i would say my timing's not been great but i feel like i've been pretty annoying Going some more quarter eyes run back in there is a counter she loaded up the thing there's the billow just so that she doesn't throw me off the map the ruckus also went for his ultimate and i barely even heard it and i was going for it too because our bk did he tried to delay his detonation i think but he is still a goner there is the roll there is the counter i'm trying to use my billow but it's on cooldown because apparently i didn't notice victor went for the ult hello ruckus there's a counter i don't think he can even stop firing fast enough to be honest there's another one okay that was weird went ahead and tried to ult and i completely messed it up there is my billow i think i'm dead corvus is gonna hit me with heal though never mind got rid of the ruckus so the bk ran in and did get cleared there's a big hit with our last hit of our basic attacks so what's happening with the grover there he was kind of just standing still roll over go ahead and pop the ult get rid of the nando there's a counter nice pk stun coming through pretty damn clutch that's like a double triple kind of you want to hit me please no you're just gonna try and run away he is still like one of those there's the triple well done team that gave us a bit of a lead couple little hits there for these guys there's another counter i feel like with this setup honestly i can just use my counter a ridiculous amount there's the counter thank you for the reset again i'm going to roll this way pull up the counter another time i do have the ultimate which i guess we'll go ahead and hit the ash with get a reload in roll this way go on the tiberius there's a counter he's going to go for the ultimate which i guess actually hits our counter because we just fired it at the nando and landed it somehow there goes the grover as well below for the ash ult died to the tiberius because in the middle of the team but this is a very hectic game we'll grab some haven victor's gone there's a counter she's going to try and knock which is why i went into the billow a little bit late but okay we got rid of the nando hit and then a roll there's a counter he's actually probably gone if i can just land my shit nice there's a counter for the nando use the billow didn't really need to slap and then the roll okay you kind of got behind me there i'm going to try and all but that doesn't even give me immunity anymore so what am i doing For some reason i always forget that guillotine got nerfed and doesn't actually give you like immunity or anything now there's the billow i do have the ultimate i'm going to go ahead and just hit the grove i guess okay nando went for the ult there's the f and the right click i'm dead eventually too the tick damage there. i feel like i was getting hit by everything bk is going for the ultimate for some reason that sound effect is really quiet on that skin there's a counter thank you very much there is the q victor went for his ult decided to go around the side a little bit there is the counter thank you for the 600 i guess we can push in and maybe get rid of him there's a counter again which actually doesn't get reset if you hit a shield didn't know that thank you corvus for the heal ash went for the ult there's a slash or two we'll spin over this way don't know if it was always like that but I, for some reason remember counter actually resetting on shields we did get a bunch of damage there jesus christ the team cleaned up there is a right click but he's obviously not going to fire into 
to me, so we'll go ahead and ultimate point blank range, and that is the victory. We deserve the win there. I think we played well. I feel like the setup really kind of showed itself off there because of the team comps and stuff, although I probably would have been more annoying if they didn't have as many tanks. Shoutouts to LucaJS, I'm guessing is how you say that name. That is their Rekus, and also T-Rex, who I'm pretty sure I played with before that was. They actually did ask me to 1v1. I just politely declined because obviously I'm in the middle of recording a video, and I also don't just randomly play 1v1s. We went 11, 9, 10. We did fine. Could have definitely done better. 93k, though. I'll take it. As for the rest of the stats, though, like I said, our Victor did pretty good. Our BK did fine. Our Corvus did all right, and so did our Cassie for their said that Nando did all right. Their Grover did a really good job. Their Ruckus struggled a little bit. Their Tiberius did okay, and then their Ash definitely did the best. If you were to ask me, my voice is already given out, but we'll go ahead and requeue for another one. King of the Hills. So now for Junction, I'm going to stick with this skin. I feel like it does have a bit of a gameplay disadvantage because I feel like my effects are a little bit too obvious, but I got to say, I do like the skin, even if I am a little bit late to kind of talking about it. I think if I had to give it a rating, I'd give it like a seven, probably somewhere around there. We've got a Cassia Fury and a Buck. Should we mix it up though? Should we just use a different one for every game like we did with Maeve? Then we have a Leon to finish it off. We're up against a Vora, a Shard, and a Grover, a Rom, and a Fury. I do recognize some of their names. I think I played with that Vora before. We'll go ahead and grab Yomi, I think, for this one. And then the setup for the Tarns. We've got Big Game, Bounce, House, Exterminate, Alacrity. Okay, Exterminate is a little bit worrying there. So the Blessing is going to suck with the Rom, a split of Rampant Blooming Sand Trap, and then Inuding Pressure. Don't know how their Rom was so low straight off the bat, but there's a counter for him. Going to go into the queue. Just about dodge the Vora's hit. We are currently 0 to 100, which is pretty rough. We've got the Vora already kind of low. There's a counter, which didn't even hit anybody we went into the queue that's surely going for the auto we'll grab some more quarter eyes we literally don't have a single point just yet let me go ahead and secure one at least by sitting on the objective there we go i got the first point that's worth something right counter for the rom okay we'll go ahead and ult him as well i guess just to dodge his ultimate if nothing else there's a counter for the grover we finished him off i spammed my queue but i got stunned by the fury i was dead there anyway because the whole team was out and there were four people on me but just ran in and got himself killed i'm a little bit confused with that tactic score wise here we are five to two hundred that is pretty rough we're going to roll over this way i'm pretty sure i'm dead vora just for some reason fell in slow mode there's a counter which she avoided I don't know how the team is dying so quickly. I've only got four deaths here. Maybe it's because I'm on Zim with the annoying setup. I actually don't know if we have a buck or not. I'm pretty sure he's disconnected because that would explain quite a bit because he is just running in, using his Q and then just insta-dying. Another Ram. There's some hits. There's a counter. I do have my ultimate, but it would be a pretty bad idea. There's a counter. Again, there's the villa, but I'm dead before I can even pull it off. Yeah, I really don't know what's going on here. People are kind of just running into the point and dying repeatedly. I'm actually not sure who's here and who isn't. It's really weird. Buck is definitely a bot. I think Cassie's here. Bafuri is a bot, though, as far as I can tell. And I think at the end might be as well. The Vora's going for the ult to try and save. There's a spin, but I guess she's still got the execute off. <laughs> What am I even meant to say to that? I literally killed her and then she for some reason continued the animation and scythed me without actually being existent in the world. I straight up have no commentary for that. There's a counter, there's the billow. I guess I'm just trying to move kind of weird. There's a counter again. Maybe we can get rid of the Furia. At least she's on like no health. Furia beam got rid of two of them. Nice. Or three of them. I don't know how she just caught three kills with one beam. That's pretty impressive. Bike is just... Yep, running in and dying. There is the defeat, of course. Score was 40, I think, to 400. They definitely deserve the win because as far as I could tell, three people on my team were bots. That might be one of the worst games of Paladins I've ever played. I'm pretty sure we had three bots. Our Buck definitely was. Our Leanne definitely was. Our Fury was as well, as far as I can tell. She's got three kills just from the beam that she threw out once for some reason, although they all grabbed talents, which means that they were there at some point. I really don't know. Usually I'd assume that they threw a game because they see me and maybe they recognize me or whatever. Stuff like that happens, obviously, because I make videos and people just sometimes want to throw, but they played like bots, even though they grabbed stuff at the start, so I'm really just quite confused. I'd say Akasi did fine them for their side, pretty obviously. They did did really really well because they were just basically killing people who were walking into them and then when they were up against me and Cassie they still did pretty good because it was you know two on five. All right well for game three we've got Siege, Ascension Peak, we've got a Cassia, Baraka, Strix and a General. So I think I played with a couple of those guys before. Shout outs to Angel of Death 7. He said happy new year may this year be safe and prosperous for you all. Thank you Angel of Death. Then for their side we're against the Nando, Anessa and Andro, Genos and a Pip gonna grab guillotine here just for the Nando because he's probably gonna be on the point with the shield being really annoying and this way we can get him out at the start of rounds hopefully. We'll grab the counter setup and start off with some quarter eyes again. Got Exaction, Octatronics, Crackshot, Luminary, Standard, Luminary, Formidable, okay, Steady Aim, Custom Over and Catalyst. Let's run into round one, couple hits here on the Nando, trying to hit him a little bit under the shield, we'll get a reload. Don't really know what the plan is, but his shield is cleared. The effect on this skin are really, really thin. There's the billow, it's also purple, did not know that. For some reason that's left me completely surprised. There's a counter which is gonna hit, but I think I am still gone. There's another one. Servers seem a little bit weird in this one. Thank you for the heals, Jonas. How am I alive? Although, to be completely honest with you, there, the annoying Zin setup worked perfectly because I was actually landing my counters and getting it reset. There goes the Nessa. Nice. Need to get rid of the Genos too. Hit on the Pip. Damage buff from Genos is honestly mental. I feel like I'm hitting for stupid. I go ahead and just ult him to remove him from the game, but I guess he somehow got out of it. Did that Genos just grab him out of my ultimate? I didn't even know you could do that. Okay. I genuinely did not know that was something you could do, so I'm left completely surprised. There is a counter. Thanks for a bit of free damage. There's another one. There's a hit and a spin. He's going for 
his ultimate, so I guess we'll retreat, pull up a counter, there's a pit into him, uh, to the pip though, fair enough, I guess we got Nando ultimate out, just hoping he hasn't been disconnected, there goes Inessa, so he can run around a little bit freely, there's a counter for the pip, although he's not going to fire into him, he's going to go ahead and pop the ultimate, I did grab resilience to counter, I did grab resilience to counter that, which actually worked, thank you Cassie for, you know, saving my ass there from the Nando, it's been over this way just to avoid the Nessa, Cassie's just going to roll in, she's playing very aggressively and doing a very good job with it, there is the Billow that is back going for the ultimate, I'm try and play the shield, though he's in an annoying spot, did hit him, there's a spin, there's the push successful i don't know how the fuck we got that but there is the two nil well done barrack i guess we distracted the nando and the rest of them were just kind of sitting back we got the two zero and we've got four ults still up definitely kind of lucky that we managed to nab the two nil there but so far we're doing pretty good the resilience has worked pretty damn well the jones hasn't really grabbed me at all but we did counter the pip ultimate and also it's slow obviously uh, cassie and barrack also went for it nando's running in a little bit late i do have my ultimate though so i'm going to try and just go ahead and hit him straight off the bat that was the whole reason i went ahead and grabbed guillotine so i could do that i didn't know pip could slow you when you're in your queue at this point i I don't know if stuff's just breaking because the servers are kind of weird today or if these are things I'm just learning about right now but I got slowed in my billow which was weird or at least it seemed like I did and earlier we also had Nando grabbed out of our guillotine which was really weird we're on both sides from here so we can't really dodge too easily although they did just get rid of our barrack there is a counter he's going for the ultimate so I'm just going to go ahead and retreat a little bit a few little taps for him there's a counter he's nearly gone so he's on right side there goes uh Strix to their pip who I'm going to push up on here and finish off there's a counter cool there's a hit don't know what my plan is here Genos is healing me though which I appreciate there's the spin going to go ahead and just guillotine him okay nice 33 health and we are dead to his fire damage but we took two of them out just about have enough credits to finish off our cauterized barrack is on the point we're on 84 percent they do have recovery mechanic obviously but we managed to get it to 99 percent which triggered the overtime and it seems like we're gonna get the three now i can't imagine them running in here to get it actually know if their nando's here because that was a bit of a weird play but yeah three nil well, can just stay at the back i don't know how she didn't hit me there that was kind of bullshit i pulled up my counter late and i'm pretty sure she hit me in the head there is my billow just because i don't want to get hit by the nessa yeah i'm pretty sure their nando's actually dc'd he was here at the start as far as i could tell but he's just running in now blindly and that's not what he was doing earlier on and, and judging from how the servers have been today and what we had earlier i'm pretty sure he's just been kicked you know so Nessa just here there's a counter we hit her for enough damage so that cassie could finish her off nice channels has been doing a freaking damn good job with heals i've got to give him props he did go for the ultimate but didn't get anybody there it goes the andrew finished him off nice there's the q not that i even needed it get a reload in gonna roll this way go ahead and alt the nando is he in range yes he is i don't know if that was a waste or not but there's my counter which i think i took a hit or two from there is there's the q he's going for the ult i think i was still in my billow but i guess not we would have just had the four nil cassie they rolled on and finished it off what a great way to end the match shout out to the team they pretty much carried me there saying that though i guess we did a pretty good job 85873k i have to give my props at least to the general though because his luminary was really really helpful yes he ruined it for you i'm definitely inclined to agree because he was a bot for the second half of the match i think at the start they weren't doing anywhere near as bad and then as soon as he dc'd it just went massively downhill obviously but regardless of that our Strix did okay our generals like i said did a really good job so did our Cassie. she absolutely shredded and so did our barak i recognize the names for a reason i'm pretty sure i played with them before for this i didn't really see their andro at all but he didn't do too bad same thing kind of with the generals although he did heal for a bunch the pip also did pretty good i honestly think if their nando was there that would have been a way closer game maybe if their nando also stepped it up a little bit but overall that was still a solid match even if it was a 4v5 at the end there i'm tempted to do another one i don't know if i should end it off or not because my voice is kind of going you know what considering that last one was a 4v5 we're going to go ahead and do another tdm maybe to finish it off i might do another one afterwards we'll see you can probably tell by how long this video is from this point forward all right well for game four we've got tdm trade district i went ahead and switched it up to standard zim because we've used all the skins except for the new one which i've covered already in a different video we've got a Knessa, a vora a coca and a general's and we're up against a nocturnal strix a deep roots grover desert science shaolin cat burglar mave and sarah who hasn't grabbed anything just yet adrenaline junkie relentless presence luminary should be really nice again steady aim and she's on all of reach we'll start off with quarter rise and then we'll just run straight in just popping a fire breathing emote here hello mave there's a couple little hits for you there's my counter which you're not going to fire into never mind okay wasn't really expecting that for first blood but there's a hit into the grover he's just going to retreat there's a counter hit into nobody because she misfired never mind there is the billow the servers feel a little bit extra fight for this one hello Ceres, there's a couple little hits for you there's a counter hit into nobody dead to the strix fair enough i can't even be mad at that one that was just misplay from me pull up the counter there goes the mave i was distracted there i wasn't even fully paying attention i guess we can push in on him can we make it across here i've actually never done this before i guess we can he just tried to get away but that play actually worked kind of he just respawned because he's here again there is the billow i think i'm dead unless i ult here so we're gonna go for it no i'm not because i'm dead because he can just left click and right click me and get two shots off rip vora i don't know how she just threw herself off the map or if it's just launching himself across because that bug was never fixed so he's got infinite range there is the counter that didn't land but i think he's dead anyway that spin didn't hit but uh, he's gone do you have the ultimate up i'm just waiting to use it on somebody who's up there i guess i just hit somebody there's the oh i was hoping that would connect but i guess we can spin over and get rid of her didn't even need to because i landed the hit there's a counter he's gonna come over and meet me i guess because again that infinite f glitch i reckon we can get rid of him here for free the general's damage buff is honestly mental it just takes us into a whole nother level you can so easily clear people with the damage buff i think it really does demonstrate just how much of a difference 15 damage makes 
breaks whenever you're playing a character and you just feel like you're on a whole nother level whenever you're getting that freaking general's heal trying to use the ultimate there we go actually landed it on him but i think i might have just nearly launched myself off the map we're still on but that didn't even kill him Sheldon went for the ult Ness. i got rid of the grover hello Sheldon. i guess you're here i have no idea that is all four of them or five of them because mave is just here as well there we go she's gone pop the pillar thank you generals for the heal we finished off our quarter prize already spin in probably a bad idea but this way we can get there a little bit faster there goes the Ceres. we also got rid of the Shaolin or koga did there's the billow thought i'd get rid of the strix but he did it for me let's get rid of the grover at least there we go Ceres is going for the i pulled up the counter to try and block some stuff that didn't really work why am i pushing in this is a bad idea i just got myself killed i'm pretty sure neither got rid of the Ceres. grover went for the ult we actually killed him whilst he was ulting that's kind of nasty we got rid of the zin or koga did 38 to 19 we doubled their score but i feel like they still put up a pretty good fight koga went for the ult we stopped him from being able to fire because obviously we pulled up our counter there goes the Ceres, and there we go there is the win i feel like we deserve that one i actually don't feel like i did too bad there the team overall with really shredded the general's damage buff just takes in two like i said a completely different tier and yeah even though we doubled them still a solid game we did pretty good at level 452k generals did a really good job so did the nurses didn't even die once there coco shredded and four had a bit of a tough time but it didn't even matter for their side their strix did all right their Ceres didn't do too bad their charlene struggled a little bit grover did okay and then their mave was ahead a bit of a hard time there we just overall had a bit of a better team we're going to do one more though so it's kind of a special because we're doing five matches but i do plan to do like an hour or two long one at some point but the thing is whenever i record for like three hours when i actually cut it up and put it together it ends up being like maybe one and a half i'd say roughly depending on how the matches go it's either like a one to three ratio or like a one to 2.5 ratio or sometimes even like a one to four of how much actually gets cut in comparison to what i actually record i think this one's been going pretty well but just to give you an idea i've been recording for an hour so far and the video is probably like less than 20 minutes maybe all right well for game five we've got another tdm trade district we're going to strix a tiberius a ying and a general so it's kind of weird saying game five and then for their side we're against a torvald a grok and andrew a Shalin, and a cassie we've got predatory instincts nocturnal life exchange start of a quarter eyes and life rip totemic ward sand trap thanks grandpa curse revolver and then we're just waiting on the cassie and the generals generals is finally running in he went for binary star and the cassie went for impulse you can see the grok effect through the wall that's something i always forget you can do there's a counter okay cool first blood pushing in here a little bit on the andro there's the count he's pulling up his reversal but we should be fine because he's got a reload and we've also got a general even though he doesn't have luminary the heal is still really really nice there is the billo got caught in the corner a little bit we'll clear the heal also get a bunch of damage and nice there's another hit there's the counter definitely seems like people don't fire into your counter as much as they used to but then maybe that's just because i've been playing this game for so long and people kind of know that sin counter is a bad thing now seems like ever since half shell mako became like a really popular thing people just don't fire into negative things as much anymore like people don't fire into mako shield people don't fire into zin you know counter and stuff like that there it goes the Torval, let's get rid of the Cassie here and the Shaolin as well. Which is also over here. I'm going to go ahead and ult him. No, I'm not because I'm a failure. There's a counter and a few more hits. There we go. Oh my god, that didn't give me the kill. Are you kidding me? Just went ahead and billowed as soon as I spawned because like three people were looking at me. We grabbed some more quarter eyes. Jonas is just here with us. There's some hits into the Torval. He's going for the Psyons, but that isn't going to matter. He's gone. Pop the counter as well, but these guys aren't even looking at me. There's the billow. I think I might be screwed because having a really hard time here with the Andro. Jonas just jumped off of the map. Okay, there's a counter. Thank you for the reset. We got rid of the Cassie. Well done, Strix. There's a counter counter again another hit into him can we finish him off it's a counter again he's going for the ultimate we'll spin over this way get a reload in we'll counter again we've got rid of the grok finished off our quarter eyes there's a counter nice there's the hit and there's the q grok tried to heal him all the way from over there which is kind of surprising how's he got that much range and how the hell he has that much range i guess he's got 60 percent plus i've never seen a grok totem from that far away before it's kind of funny didn't even matter but it was still kind of weird it threw me off a little bit there's the counter there's a hit and a spin there's another hit there's the counter again which he was kind of missing i think intentionally i'm gonna use my counter again but I'm in the freaking silence. There we go. We hit it. Counter another time. Thank you again. There's another hit for a bunch of damage and another counter. I actually am being so annoying right now. I can even tell as I'm playing. Here's my counter again because I guess it didn't go off. But that's fine. I do have the ultimate. I'm going to go ahead and ult the Andro. Got shielded by the Torvald and then I died to Charlene. Fair enough. We'll grab some life rip. Get a tense one. That's for sure. There's the counter. She's gone. There's the Q. We managed to get a little bit of a hit in there beforehand. There's the counter another time. No one's going to hit into me. There's the last hit and the spin. I think I might be dead because I don't have any of my abilities. I'm actually not off the map though totally thought i was a goner there there's the counter to finish off the grok nice spin to get rid of the cassie there's another counter although he's gonna silence me hit for him he's going for the all okay i guess oh my god i don't know if he killed anybody else i think that was just me Jones managed to finish him off so, so at least it was kind of just me the shaolin is here i guess there's a counter i'm trying to use my q but obviously i'm a goner because i'm getting hit from both sides push up here a little bit there's a counter thank you for the reset there's a hit for the two of them we got the counter again pull up the counter again he missed me there i don't know if these are intentional misses or not but he's so goddamn low i guess we can pop the f and push in maybe he's gonna go for the
the silence, which I for some reason never expect. There's the double hit. Got the ultimate, might as well hit the Torvald. Pop the Q. We're actually not doing too bad here. 33 to 21. Couple hits into the Grok. He's going to go ahead and ult to run away. Get rid of the totem. Push up. There's a counter. Sure, I think I'm dead though. Grab some Kronos. For some reason, I went for Max Life Rip before Kronos, which was probably a bad idea, but thanks for the healers on like no health there. Yeah, Life Rip is definitely putting in work. Spin inwards. Hello, Torvald. There's some hits for you. There's a counter. Although he's not even going to fire into him, he's just going to try and run away for some reason. Sure. Nearly got the double hit, but I popped my Q a little bit too early. We're going to spin over this way. Pull up the counter again. He just missed. I actually think he's missing like unintentionally, but I'm not sure. There is the victory again. Feel like we deserve the win. I was doing a pretty good job there. Would have done even better if Generals went for Luminary, but even with Binary Star, we did a pretty good job and the heals were definitely helping out. And there we go. There are the stats for the last one. 12, 6, 15, 63k. I will happily take that. Our King did pretty damn good. Our Generals did all right. Our Pyrus did a good job as well. And our Strix also did fine. Shoutouts to Thralnos. Appreciate the love. Always nice seeing people enjoy the stuff that I'm putting out. This one's been a bit of a different video, but really enjoyed it. My voice is completely gone though. <laughs> for the stats on their side there. Grok did okay. Their Cassie did pretty good. Probably causing me the most trouble alongside the Ant and the Torvald with his silence mainly the shielding was a pain in the ass and the Charlin also didn't do too bad but there we go that was max counter slash max billow slash most annoying probably thing in paladins at least in my personal experience obviously depending on what you kind of hate to go against and what annoys you in games you'll be different for everybody but for me at least at least when it comes to character kits and stuff going up against zin with a setup like that is just a pain in the ass because he's billowing and countering all the time as we did throughout the video and as i hopefully you know demonstrated so yeah i hope you have enjoyed this kind of weird zin special i've been recording here for an hour so it's technically an hour special but by the time i cut this down it's going to be way way shorter i will do hopefully a proper hour special where i'll record for like two or three and then cut it down to like one like i tried to do before which ended up not being an hour which i'll never fucking live down <laughs> yeah thank you for watching be like if you enjoyed of course let me know what if you want to see me do next if you want to see me do stuff like this more often definitely just let me know by showing some love on the video i'll see you guys all very very soon and as always stay frosted